Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick22K and today we're going to take a look at what happens that makes your beer foam over when you clink two bottles together. When you clink two glasses together there's something similar to what happened in my cavitation video. There is a very rapid drop in pressure at the bottom of the bottle resulting in voids. But in a carbonated beverage, these voids aren't filled only with boiled water, they're actually filled mostly with carbon dioxide, which came from the carbonation of the beverage. These bubbles of carbon dioxide travel upwards through the uh, column of liquid, collecting more carbon dioxide and growing in area and volume. The more surface area the bubbles have, uh, the more carbon dioxide they're able to pull out of the surrounding liquid, causing them to grow even faster. Eventually this reaches a bit of a runaway and it causes your drink to foam over. By having this cloud of foamy bubbles floating up through your beverage, it actually insulates your bottle from being exploded like the normal uh, barehanded beer bottle smash. These bubbles take the shock wave uh, that propagates up and down through the liquid, uh, squeezing and expanding and dissipating that energy. After trying this a few times with a few different bottles, I ended up with one that had gone completely flat. There was almost no carbonation left in it. When I tried to make more cavitation bubbles in it, I found that they were the large, smooth cavitation bubbles you'd see in regular uncarbonated liquid. This resulted in the bottom of the bottle smashing off. But as you can see in that bottom section, there is still a little bit of that foamy carbon dioxide bubbles as they fall away from the rest of the glass. I hope you found that interesting and try to remember that cavitation is the enemy of your beer.